What's going on, Rich Nation? What's happening with y'all? It's your boy Mike Rich, man. What it is? Hit them all once again. But that ain't what this vlog about. We just gonna do this for all the fans that wanna see the sneakers. They wanna see the stuff that's out, the new releases, what's sitting, all that. That's for y'all first. Second half of the video gonna be straight clowning probably because Bradleton Co Factory. Uh Marshalls. Let's just see if we can find some gems. If not, yeah, I gotta get the track can water. I, I'm sorry, I gotta get the track can the shoes now. So after we leave the mall, we're gonna check out Burlington. Check out all the work. And I just remember a day why I used to catch them gems on that thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're looking at uh, <laughs> I used to catch gems in there. Marshalls used to catch gem. TJ, well, I ain't never caught no gym, TJ, man. Marshalls, Ross, uh, even Play-Doh's Closet. So we might hit up Play-Doh Closet. But um, if it ain't no gyms, you know, we're going to get them for not having no gyms. We're going to get them. So anyway, hope everybody having a blessed day today in the mall. See what they got sitting. Then we're going to hit some of them spots and see if we can find anything. Do it. Real quick. The work beaters, woof, but catch them in the sunlight. Eh. But got on them, uh, uh, uh. What these is? Harashi guy. Harashis. Her -ash ashes. That's what they is. Okay. Yep. Okay. Snipes. Gonna we'll start off with Snipes. See, they got some dunks in here chilling. Is this a women's shoe? Is it a men's shoe? Uh oh. Some white blacks. Panda highs. So I honestly don't see them. I might have to get this display to see what size it is. It says men's eight and a half. So these are men's. They don't say the retail either, but men's dunk panda highs, I guess. Is that the name? Y'all can correct me if that ain't the name. I mean, I know the panda lows like this are called panda lows, but are these called panda highs? Come below and let me know. It's a simple color when it's clean. I see why everybody like it. It's just, if it has some, some buttery material for me. If they didn't feel so hard in cardboard, I would like them better. I just like text on shoes like this. But, you know, that don't mean it's bad leather. That just means it's some stiff leather. Yeah, you talking about? But uh, I don't really like the dunk highs. I'm just not starting to dunk, like the dunk lows, so you can't give me too much. Can't give me too much. Bro, you know what everybody been asking me about is the pennies. Like, when did everybody start liking pennies, bro? I don't see them in here, but everybody asking me about the pennies. And I'm like, I mean, they some OG shoes and stuff, but when everybody started hyping up pennies, I don't know, son. I was just in here the other day and they had these and they still got them. This look like a, that's a 14 though, so. It's a gigantic stumper size left. Go on and get you some. This not really a mob vlog, so I'm gonna probably be short with stuff I already showed already. They ain't playing with the Chicago. Get y'all some of these Chicago appetizers, man. Hey, you talking about? They got these in here. For everybody who's asking about these, I feel like uh, Snipes the only one that got them, or Jimmy Jazz. If it's Snipes or Jimmy Jazz exclusive, bro, I ain't seen them nowhere else. Bro, I feel like the music they playing in here is making me lose brain cells, bro. Like, I felt myself just getting more ignorant the more that song will play. <laughs> that boy said, you your daddy's son. My, my son used to sing that song. And I, he used to love that song. And I have no idea why he liked that song, bro. Anyway, I was saying about pennies. Why? I mean, I like the pennies, man. I always been a fan. You know what I'm saying? Cause like Orlando Magic. That's probably not a shoe I probably cop now because I just don't think it looked like right with my drip. But why is all of a sudden everybody hyping up pennies? This hype has been moving mysteriously too long. But look at these fit. What? Hold on, I had to turn around. Alright, man. No disrespect to this brand right here, me. Cause it might, you know what I'm saying? It looked like, you know what I'm saying, they put pride into they 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 situation, but you couldn't kill me rocking now. One of these, my boy. I'm sorry, I ain't that guy. I can't pull it off. And champs now. And Champs got the E2, so it's probably safe to say they silly, you feel me? Oh, this is uh, I can't tell what size it's like 11 or 10 or something. I don't never ask the sizes because I don't like asking people's size and I know I ain't gonna buy the shoe. That probably annoy them. Like, they go back and check what size they got, they come back out like, you ain't gonna get them? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but anyway, they got them in here. I don't know what the hell going on with the F1 one, but if you like Air Force One mids and shiny stuff and if you like orange, 
And if you got next, get some. Yeah, you talking about? I could be wrong, but is these New Balance popular? Is this model popular? Y'all let me know. It's like an old school New Balance. I don't know. It's a 550. Okay. So our New Balance 550 is popular. Is it a good one? Is it the one of the ones? Y'all come let me know. Because I'm wondering about it. You feel me? I don't know. I keep having to make myself not buy the Atlanta shorts because it just seemed kind of trendy. How it got Atlanta across the middle. The A right here. Uh, where else here? It just got so much going on that I don't know. I don't know. It might be too much. Is something on the back too? Pro. I don't know, man. Oh, that's the um, that's the people who make it. Pro. Pro standing. So. And they got my side, man. How much they call? Well, them got eighty dollar. I get me a pill when I'm ready. I ain't, that 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 just deterred me. Fifty maybe, but I ain't I ain't ready to butt the eight on them. They hard though. So yeah, no pennies. I don't think they dropped yet. This certain stores might be putting them out, but I ain't seeing no pennies. Of course, we got the usual suspects, heritage ones. Everywhere you feel me. I've been seeing people uh, vintage the midsole out and throw like the vintage color uh, laces in them. Somebody hit me up. Do mine like that. I pay for it. All right, so we out here by Play Doh Closet, Shady. And uh, <laughs> this 592 Lounge, man, this done been everything. It was Gladys Chicken and Waffles. It was another sports bar before this, Barnacles or something. I don't know. Um, but they just don't know what they want to be. And then they, now they 592 Lounge. First experience I had with their play with, trying to do a dash song from them. And they accepted the order and took my money, but they ain't never come. So I ain't never tried to come up here and kick it or nothing to uh, get no drinks or nothing like that. But anyway, play those closet. No hoods on. They want to make sure they know who you is, in case you be thieving. No hoodies. It's a little newer in here now, like they redid it or something. Can I see those Jordans up there? Both of the black pairs. But they got some J's in there. Told you. Told us they be having J's. These like kids shoes or something. But these is the uh, Yang Yang, man. The Yang Yang guy. What side that is? It's a 5.5 Y. I wonder not what they want for them. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, $50. Mm. Well, 5.5 Y. You want to spend $50 on some these? But these resell for like brand new. About 500 or something like that, no. And then they got Oreo 5s too. Play those clouds. Somebody that had these guys on, of course, they want $35 for the Oreo 5. And it's a size six and a half Y. So they got them to play those clouds, shot it. Used. I right, got some LMAT 95s in there, guy. He talking about. Uh, $35. Uh, too much for them, too much for them. Bro, my hands already feel dirty from touching these shoes. Here's some uh, crazy looking at A6. Man, what? Damn me. He talking about. I remember when Nike was trying to push that model. It ain't work out too much. Not the G Star guy, Shawty. Not the G Star. What you talking about? I don't remember the F41 right here. I'm scared to touch them, but they probably got some bodies on them or something. Be careful. Triple red Hirachi guys. I'm scared to touch them too. Got some GS phone posits. I ain't no GS phone pods where they big though. They look way too big to be a GS shoe. Scared of them. One forty-five dollar by the way. Got some uh, what's the name? Lacoste. Got Jordan Nines right here. DJ came out not too long ago. Dang folk. You need a little cake. You need a little change, huh? How much they want? Thirty-five dollar for the J. Size is a six Y. Some some kid probably done ran through them real quick. Boy, they got the L Jordan sell nothings in here. You tell me that. These are definitely buy. I hate this shoe. This is the reason why people don't like sevens because they equate it to that. It's not the same shoe, people. It's not the same shoe. But keep sleeping though, because that make the sevens easier for me to get. Yeah, nobody get, nobody get citruses coming out. Don't nobody get them. Y'all be careful, bro. They got phone posit coppers in this thing, bro. What fifty five dollars? Eleven and a half, shawty. They got foam posit coppers. I don't want to buy them. <laughs> don't coppers like resell or something? I don't know. I don't know. They use, but yeah, something to show. They got foam posit. They got GS Jordan 4s. I don't even remember their colorway. I, are, they, are they fake? Y'all let me know. This is a size six and a half Y. It look like a women's release that actually draw. I don't know how they authenticate in here, but $40 for Jordan 4. GS. I'm not finna get into the clothes. I don't really want to look at them too much. That's Matt Ryan jersey. 
Well, that's pretty clean. That's like authentic Matt Ryan jersey. Like it been worn a billion times. Twenty dollars. Right after I said I ain't gonna look at the clothes, I kind of. That's kind of dope. But what I was gonna ask is, this considered thrift shopping? Devontae Freeman jersey. Is this considered thrift shopping? Is this what thrift shopping is? Because I don't really do thrift shopping. So y'all tell me. Is this called thrift shopping? What I'm doing right now. And they got anthracite knives. These are Yeezys, by the way. We're gonna talk about that in a second. Those are actually Yeezys. But this is anthracite nines and like my side. They beat to hell. They still want $35. D beat. D beat right here. I gotta get some hand sanitizer. Could he hold beat? Uh some nice little colorway and though. But look at it, I enjoy nothing. Yeah, Edgeway nothing. Why they just do whatever color they want with the Edgeway Edgeway nothing? But they got Yeezys. Let's go back. They got is these real? <laughs> they want fifty dollars. It says Adidas Men's Athletic Shoe Size Nine. That what it say. Y'all can't probably see that. See that? They say Adidas. These are Yeezys, bro. I don't remember their colorway. I don't know if they real. I don't. I don't think I ever seen their colorway. Is these real? Cause some Yeezys for fifty five dollar, man. I mean, you can't. That boost don't look right. That boost does not look right. How do they authenticate that, man? I thought the boost was supposed to be white. Am I tripping? Did somebody color it? Yeah, these don't look right. These don't. These don't look right. Y'all, y'all probably better judge than me. Are those real Yeezys? <laughs> Are these real Yeezys? Let me know. So I don't remember their colorway. So y'all gotta let me know what them is. Look at them here, thirty-five dollar joint fine. I do remember this colorway though. These gray guys, you're gonna have to take some real restoration for some of my brand new back. Damn, they missing a little. What's the name? Look, boy. Yeah, these track can water. They want twenty-two dollar for them. Y'all bring them back. Is it worth to bring them back? Let me know. Right, dang, but they did everything in these, bro. You just ain't no telling what you can find in all these clothes and stuff like that. But I'm good. I just want to wash my hands right now and get out of here. So. Let's go check out Burlington Coat Factory or Burlington. Some Nikes right there. Let's go check out Burlington and see what they got. Yeah, man. So I'm leaving out of there. What y'all think about it? A couple of joints. All this shit. All this stuff will beat, man. Anyway, uh, I'm all walking out and I'm asking the girl, I'm like, can I get some hand sanitizer? And she looking at me like, why do you need hand sanitizer? I'm like, man, I just touched everybody's clothes and shoes. I done touched half of this city shoes in here. Hey, you talking about? <laughs> what do you mean what I need some hand sanitizer for? This hand is dirty. Oh, uh, she gave it to me though, so I'm good. <laughs> all right, Rich Nation, it's getting kind of late. And uh, Marshall's, TJ Maxx, all this stuff in the rear kind of be closed really soon. So I'm at our final destination and that is Burlington. We gonna go in here and see if it's possible to find anything that you might want, like, rock, any of that stuff. I ain't looking at no clothes though. That's, that that take too long. This Burlington actually smell pretty clean though. I'm surprised. It usually smell like somebody grandma attic or closet or something like this with mothballs mixed in. They actually improve the smell. They must have been watching my video. Every time I do a Burlington video, I always talk about smell. So maybe they improved it. It smell pretty decent in here now. Here goes some NBA shorts. They ain't nothing else, no team or nothing. They just, you know, NBA shorts. Yeah, you talking about. So the original price is forty dollars, and then they want like nine dollars, man. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. When you're a kid in high school, your parents don't want to spend a whole bunch of money. I don't know if these new kids have to deal with that because there's a lot of hustling parents out there. They're gonna get it by any means, but <laughs> if you if you're struggling a little bit, you come in here and get some prices. I remember back in the day, I would rock the mess out of something like this with a polo on, uh, and it is polo. It just ain't just ain't the right one. Just ain't the right polo. <laughs> Anyway, let's go to the shoe. I said I wasn't gonna talk about clothes. Look at that Converse book bag. Damn, what that behind it? That's Adidas. Okay then. Okay, bro. So it's a version of this shoe. I know y'all done seen it. It ain't this one. It it kind of looked like a Yeezy. Tell me if you comment if y'all know what I'm talking about. It kind of looked like a Yeezy and a just do it like a Nike sock shoe. And it, it say I, I think it say just do it all around it. I can, I can't remember. Come on, if y'all know what I'm talking about, it's like a Yeezy Nike, and I've been seeing a lot of people wearing them. And I'm like, what them is? Somebody tell me what they is, shawty. I wish they had them in here. I think they might sell them at the gas station or something. I don't know, y'all let me know. Boy, I thought they hit it with the Louis Vuittons in here, boy. 
I thought they hit her with the LVs in there, guy, but hell no, nah. they the HNs, hell no. Nah. Oof. Damn true religion. How far we have fallen. How much they get? $35 for some true religion shoes. How, f I mean, the mighty has fallen. Now, me personally, I don't take uh, any kind of enjoyment on uh, somebody's business kind of doing bad or whatever. I mean, I think true religion, a lot of people still rock true religion just because they ain't hit on me now. But you would, you know, a few years ago, you would never see this in here. Kind of remind me how Ed Hardy, what happened to Ed Hardy. But, you know, he trash anyway, but I'm just saying, true religion, me, God damn. That couple pedal thing, too. <laughs> Got the heel figure. Heel figure's a classic brand that ain't going nowhere, but they are in there. Got heel figure. And they also got the Nautica guy. Okay, then. The London Fall Collection. Here you talking about. What is it? Need some guess? Damn. If I had to guess, I would say these are trash. Can. Water. Guess loafers ain't bad though. They just doing a little, little biting off Gucci, biting off Gucci just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But Guess is a, I guess is a good brand though. Am I wrong or right? Got the Calvin Klein guy, Perry Ellis, Kenneth Cole. Okay. Yeah, I think it's safe to say it ain't gonna be no gems in here. Like a lot of rocks instead of gems going on right now, shit. Bro, if you rock indeed. You better know how to make barbecue sauce from scratch. He tone back. You better be so oof. You better Dockers too. You better be fire on the grill, boy. I'm talking about fall off the bone, brisket, and ribs. And you definitely gotta know how to make that sauce from scratch. You gotta know how to do the charcoals just right. You gotta tell people, get away, boy. You don't know what you're doing. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Let, 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 let the real cook finish. You gotta be one of them, shawty. And you gotta pop them fireworks and run real fast after you butter fire after you light them firework. These is the official dad sandals, man. Bro. Oof. Just talking about a new balance slides in there, guy. You ain't talking about how much they go. How much they costing in here? Our low price, $16.99. That's a good deal. What's the original price? Can't find it. Anyway. <laughs> I don't know why I'm looking. I ain't finna buy no damn new balance slide. Let me get up out of here. Y'all lucky. Y'all lucky I ain't got time to look at all these damn clothes. I do not have the time. This is giving me a headache, man. My mom used to make me look through these racks when I was a kid, bro. And I be trying to find something that say polo, something that say heel figure, something that say nautica. You know what I'm saying? Something that say Nike, something that's a jersey. You know what I'm saying? And, but it be so many slim pickings, man. I used to have a, literally as a 12-year-old with a headache walking through here trying to find something that was close to anything name branded the folk were wearing at school, man. Whew. I remember. I remember. I remember, Sean. Anyway, this vlog must come to an end, my friends. Uh, Y'all lucky. TJ Maxx, Marshalls, you lucky. Let me get a wide shot. Oh, that's already on a wide shot. You're lucky, TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Marshalls, I was coming for you too. Uh, ran out of time though, you know what I'm saying? Sun going down, I still got my shades on, you feel me? Get in the car so we can do this outro. And uh, y'all come in and tell me what y'all thought about this vlog. You feel me? I go to some old thrift spots and stuff like that. Um, not, never been really big on thrifting. It's just something about, I'm not above it. It's just something about wearing other people's clothes that I don't just, I ain't gonna be feeling like that. If I had to, I had no other choice. I'd be in there, but I'm saying, I, and I and I'd be dripping too. Hey, you talking about? But uh, I'm just not a big big fan of the thrift stuff. Every now and then, I vintage, I uh, I uh, shop at vintage places and stuff like that. And those clothes, other people have worn too. So, you know what I'm saying? It just depends on which drip is. You know what I'm saying? Because they make brand new stuff that look vintage too that I can probably pull off. But uh, anyway, that has been my my vlog for today. I didn't go too hard. I went too hard on none of the stuff in there. Uh, Plato's, the actual thrift spot, had more stuff than the actual retail spot, Burlington. But um, it's always Slim Pickens, McGlickens in a lot of these spots. So a lot of times if I do the video and I'm not really finding anything to roast or anything to even, you know, talk about some gems to find, uh, I might not post the video. So 
I want to entertain, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to put no boring videos up on YouTube. You feel me? So comment below if you like this video, if you like this style of video, not just my vlogs all the time. I'm going to do different stuff. Start back hitting the outlets and look at other stuff at the outlets besides just going to the Nike outlet and leaving. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, I appreciate y'all for watching. Hit the thumbs up. I'm trying to make sure I ain't got no... You feel like my mouth be dry. You feel like I got a crusty stuff in the corner. Or the white stuff in the corner. Anyway... <laughs> Hit a thumbs up to this video if you liked it. Hit the thumbs up. That's gonna let me know if y'all like this style of video. By thumbs up, I need two thousand thumbs up. I haven't seen two thousand thumbs up in a long time. So if I see two thousand thumbs up, it's gonna let me know that I need to start posting video like this even more. Anyway, thumbs up, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can become a part of Rich Nation. Stand all the way up to the moon on them. Hey, you talking about? You keep watching my video because that's what I'm here for. Just kicks, yeah. Jordan, six, Woo. eight and nine, fit, Woo. hottest, trends, hottest. clank, clank, cleanse, cleanse. bless, yes, Woo. I'm